Good morning from Folly Farm as our trip here to Wales continues. Now Folly Farm is located only about a 10 minute drive away from Oakwood Theme Park and we really like it here don't we Charlotte? I absolutely love it because there's loads of goats. And we've heard that there's baby goats and here And they're as only well. a week old. And along with that it's not just the farm animals you've actually got a zoo and also the Heritage Fun Fair that is all built indoors here which I've got to say is always absolutely fantastic yeah, isn't it? Yeah it's really good. Yeah so we're really looking forward to it again it's another absolutely gorgeous day uh, but the good thing is you've got quite a few indoor areas nice. uh, a lot of the farm animals have got a big indoor area uh, the rides uh, are all inside as well and so uh, the setup here is absolutely fantastic so yeah come and join us as we showcase everything that folly farm has to offer so as soon as you come in through the entrance it leads you straight into the gift shop just here all these wonderful toys and as you can see you've got the carousel in the middle which i think is really cool i do like how they've got that Right in the middle here at Folly. Whoa, what are you looking at there, Charlotte? Oh, the gift shop's so good. Yeah, it is fantastic in here. <laughs> it doesn't seem very busy normally. It's really busy. Maybe because it's so hot, yeah, people have gone to the beach that isn't too far away down, of course, in Tenby. But yeah, in terms of how it works here, you pay to come in, obviously, um, but then that doesn't actually get you on the rides. You have to buy tokens for those. Um, but yeah, you're kind of paying to come in just for the animal experiences. Uh, so if anybody doesn't want to do the rides, you're not kind of getting charged for that. So it's quite a good system in a way. And then you buy ride tokens, um, either online at the entrance or down at the Heritage Fun Fair. So we just made our way out of the gift shop, which is the large building just over there at the back. And yeah, as you can see, they've actually got a classic car show on today as well. So yeah, we'll get a little bit of footage of that as well. But here we go, Charlotte. Are you ready for the animal barn? I'm so excited. <laughs> it is a really good setup here. And to be honest, with it not being very busy, you should get plenty of goat park oh, worldwide action. Here we go. Yeah, we always make our way down here to see the goats. And the jolly barn just over here, she's off. We've heard they've got babies. So we are about to find out. <laughs> oh, look at the setup in there. Here we go. Yeah, it's always really impressive. Oh, here they are. The thing is, they actually live stream it on the website as well, so you can always see the goats. Oh. Whereabouts? Oh, it's off to the left. They've gone in with the donkeys over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Making friends with the donkeys. Here they are. Better goat park worldwide, everybody. Hey, the goats aren't wearing dresses, but Charlotte is just for the goats. Oh, there he is. Oh, better go action. There you go. Oh, is this mummy or daddy coming over? You think so? Big goat. Oh, I like how they're just jumping about. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, look at these little cuties over here, the little baby goats. Oh, I like that one. He's really cheeky. He snuck through the gap in the fence in with the donkeys just over there. And that one. <laughs> they are lovely. I like these donkeys. I do. They're really nice. Lovely goats. Here at Folly Farm. Oh, this one's really nice just down here. It's so cute. But yeah, it's a really good setup in here. Yeah, it's actually got some good theming around in here as well. So it's just the Folly Farmhouse you can see over there. The Milking Parlour just there. The Ferret Barn. Yeah, some good bits of theming throughout it all, which is good. Yeah, the overall finish of it here is great. Look forward to seeing if they've made any changes anywhere outside around the zoo section. Since we were last here, hey, he's running down. <laughs> it's been two years since we were last here at Folly Farms. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they made any changes. Oh, this one's lovely. Just around the corner then, we've got some milking goats just over here. They're big goats, they are, aren't they, Charlotte? You're not a fan of those? I remember when you did actually milk a goat. Milk a goat. And that was actually just over here. It looks like you can't do it anymore. They've put a tractor here instead. You can still see the sign, hand milking. But yeah, you used to queue up just around here. And I remember when you did that. I did milk one. Yeah, yeah. And did you enjoy the experience? It felt really weird. <laughs> yeah, I do like all the signage and everything in here. It's got a great setup which is really cool. Yeah, we were chatting with some of the keepers here last time and they were saying how they regularly kind of swap the animals every few hours. So the ones that are in here then go outside and the ones that are outside come in here. So yeah, just keep swapping them around, which is good. But to be honest, I bet they're quite grateful for some shade today inside here. 
Just over here, we've got Alan and Arthur, the alpacas, just here. Oh, they got a fan on them as well to keep them cool. Just thought I'd show you a map here of Folly Farm. So we started off in the Jolly Barn, which is located around this top section. And then, yeah, you've got the Vintage Fairground, where we'll be later on, which is just off to the right. And then, yeah, you've got all of the zoo that expands around this area as well. Along with that up here at the top, you've got the land train, where you can see lots of different animals around there. You actually cross underneath the road, under a subway, to get over onto that side, so that's quite cool. And yeah, as you can see, there's lots to enjoy here. You've actually got a few outdoor funfair attractions here as well, such as the paratrooper and the Pembrokeshire wheel as well, that's located here at Folly. But yeah, I think we'll go around and have a look around the zoo and some of the other animals now. Nice little monkey just over there, making the most of the shade. I don't blame it, to be honest. Here we go, we've got Charlotte pictured now when she wakes up on the morning, just over here. I'm <laughs> oh, really joking, that's like your morning, oh, morning stretch. <laughs> Love the little monkeys, oh, I'm really joking Charlotte. <laughs> we are around here into the main zoo area now, and just around to the left you've got the giraffes, and I believe since last time we were here, they've made some changes to the giraffe area. See, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Here we go then, so welcome to Giraffe Heights. Yeah, you got the new signage just there. And yeah, they've got some more of these raised up platforms now so you can get nice and close to the beautiful giraffes. I absolutely love them. One of my favorite animals actually. Here we go, oh, has he been fed over there maybe? Oh, here we go, we're gonna get nice and close. Just over here, yeah, look at this. Yeah, this is really cool. They did have like a little walk up area before, but it looks like it's been completely redone, which is nice. And yeah, look at the size of him. Absolutely beautiful. Charlotte's excited. Yeah. <laughs> Selfie with the giraffe. There we go, up onto this top section. Wow. Beautiful. Probably the closest we've ever got to the giraffe, to be honest. Oh, look at them. Wow. I like how they eat and munch away. <laughs> wow, <laughs> all the slobber coming out. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful animals. Wow, look at this. Never been this close before to a giraffe. Absolutely gorgeous. Standing in the shade just here. How cool is this, Charlotte? Oh, it's amazing. I just really getting to appreciate these beautiful animals. Up here on the little balcony. Yeah, it makes you realize how tall these actually are. Right. Hasn't even got his neck fully stretched. Amazing. I really enjoyed that. The giraffes are absolutely beautiful and we got so close there to no, them. I've never been that close before. 29 years of being alive and that is the closest I've ever gotten to one of them. Beautiful oh, creatures. Like, oh, absolutely amazing that was. Really nice to get up close and personal with one of the giraffes just there. Love this theming over here at the Pride of Pembrokeshire. Yeah, this is the Lions area. And I like how you've got all these bits of theming. You've got like the radios over there. Uh, along with that, you've got all the photos, just the little bits around. It reminds me of something, does it you? Everest. Expedition Everest Q line. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Just got them kind of vibes. Bits and stuff. Maybe the owners of Folly Farm are uh, Disney fans. <laughs> yeah, and then you've got the camera. That isn't a live camera out here, by the way. That is actual Africa, I'd imagine, <laughs> not Wales. And there's a look at the lions just outside here. Yeah, I think they're all just taking some shade. Having a sleep on this wonderful morning. On this hot morning. Yeah, don't blame them for staying in the shade. Whoa, here come another one of my favourite animals. The camels just over here. I hope you don't spit at me. <laughs> yeah, I do love the big camels. Yeah, look at these. These are spectacular. Is he? Oh, yeah. Love camels. A zoo baby here. So is there a baby camel? Does that mean? I don't know. You reckon so? Oh, yeah, maybe just down there. Oh, hello. I <laughs> love the camels. Thought he was going to spit at us then, Charlotte. Oh, there's a look at the very cute baby camel just over there. And yeah, still pretty big, even though it's a baby. But of course, much smaller than the other two. Oh, baby camel, everybody. We'll just come around the corner and the lovely baby camel stood oh, up now. so cute. Oh, look at him. Adorable. 
giant tortoise just here. Look at him. Absolutely massive. So we're making our way round to see more of the wonderful animals here at Folly Farm. I just thought I'd show you that they've now got a holiday park here as well. It is quite expensive because we did actually look at staying for the night. Pretty pricey, wasn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, quite expensive. Yeah, you've got the fairground lodges that are already here. But yeah, soon they'll be getting these tents just over there. And also these different lodges over here as well. These look nice down here at the bottom. And yeah, it looks like they're probably going to have animal views i'd imagine and also hot tub included in. i like that image just there that's cool but yeah i reckon they're going to be built around here because the rhinos i believe are just around this corner so yeah maybe they're going to be just literally here right in the heart of the park some more nice bits of theming just around here as well which is cool land rover just there parked up to make our way around into the reserve just over here home of the wonderful rhinoceros I think he's fast asleep over there, or probably just in the shade as well with it being such a hot day. The Eastern Black Rhinoceros just over there. Round here into the Asia theme section now. Look at this magnificent beast just over here. Wow, what do you think to his neck there, Charlotte? So long. It is really long, isn't it? He is lovely. We've got all the Indian blue peafowls now that have just appeared. As you can see, I'm an animal expert. Definitely don't read the signs. Hmm. <laughs> I do love all the random bits of theming that they put around these areas, which is good. Now look at the size of the beaks on these pelicans just here. Absolutely massive. Yeah, I just said to Charlotte, actually, off camera, if this was Colmarden, there'd be an RMC down here. Yeah, I still stand by it, though. I think Folly Farm would really benefit from a little coaster here. I really do. They've certainly got space for it as well, down where the other rides are. I think a little coaster would fit in really well for them. Are you enjoying your afternoon, Sean? I am. I've seen loads of Bert the Seagulls over there. Just, there is. Uh, just enjoying them, yeah, it's lovely. It's really nice so, do you know earlier when you said that that monkey was me yeah. in the morning? Well, that's you, and what that's you, you what? saying. Bert the Seagull? No, that one there. Oh, oh, right. That's you that. waking up going, we're going to a theme park today. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks very much. There you are. <laughs> I know, I've had a nice look around the animals there. I tell you what, it is baking hot. It's so hot. We are struggling today, viewers. Uh, even though, you know, we've got our shorts on. Struggling yeah, today. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, we're going to make our way inside, get some food. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably do the little train. And then, of course, get on the rides at the uh, Vintage Fun Fair this afternoon. And show you the rides we've got outside here as well at Folly Farm. Well, you've got lots of different food options here at Folly Farm. We've just had a lovely hot dog and fries, haven't we? Oh, you're right there laying down. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it is really hot. Did you enjoy your lunch? It was lovely. Nice hot diddly dog. Yeah, it was about £10 for a meal, wasn't it? Yeah, Included a drink. Not too bad. It's quite nice. Lunch. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? But here we go. You've got yeah. this nice photo opportunity just here. Uh, Charlotte looking very summery here. Pick your own adventure here at Folly Farm. But yeah, we're going to make our way over now towards the piggery. And also the little uh, train that they've got, yeah, the land train. Oh, I was leaving you there now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll head around this way. So yeah, it's actually inside the animal barn and round to the left-hand side. We've just seen the lovely baby goats again as well. So we're over on the other side of the road now. And yeah, you've got the rabbit ranch. You've got turkeys around here, chickens. And yeah, they've actually added lots of new theming around here as well which is good it's nice to see them making improvements like that because this looked very kind of bland around here before chicken city. So yeah it's nice chicken city that's funny isn't it duck den yeah it's nice i like it and we've got the piggery just down here we're going to get on the land train shortly departs every 20 minutes between 11 and 3. oh there's a nice goat photo up there for you oh, yeah. oh, so you can actually walk a bit down here now there you go yeah, before this was kind of blocked off. So we've got some more goats just outside here. It's a nice one, isn't it? It's a bit like Willis back at the World of Theme Parks. Oh, I like him. Let's take a photo of you with him if you want. Yeah. There we go, and then we've got the pigs over there. I tell you what though, they pong a bit, don't they? Stink. Smelly pigs. And just over here, we've got the baggot goats. Oh, look at him. Baby one at the yeah, back. yeah, he's nice, isn't oh, he? He's I like this one. This is Wicker Man just here. Look at oh. him. God, would you like to stroke him, Charlotte? Not with them on. Like, look at that. Oh, look at the little baby. What a beast. Here in the piggery just here now. Oh, these little pigs, hello. <laughs> and the big pig, oh, he's coming over. Oh, that's it. <laughs> big pig. Oh my God, jump scare. Oh, they're all coming in. <laughs> oh my God, feeding time. Oh, he's off, he's had enough. That's it. <laughs> oh, look at them all. 
I have to see in the lovely pigs just over there. We've made our way round here to the land train, or as I like to call it, a tractor, pulling some trailers. This is literally what it is, but you know what? This is included in your admission for coming here. Because like I say, the other rides, you buy tokens to go on. But yeah, with this one, you don't need to. It's giving us a little wave. Yeah, it's like a little 15, 20 minute ride round some of the animals here at Folly Farm. Some donkeys just off to the right. Three of our miniature donkeys. As we do pass their shed, as you can tell where the rubber mat is, Lo lovely and warm outside placed on the core by the guys. They do like to wait for the farm staff to... Yeah, they made quite a few changes. Added some nice theming, which is good. Like that little church just over there in the clock tower, that's quite cool. To your left you will see two of our residential chunky boys. They go by the name of Rupert and Bruno. Like I said, originating from Switzerland, most originally known as the Q. Loads of goats there, Charlotte, for you. Some of the lambs fetching for £10,000. Land they are very social animals. So we had a nice ride round there on the land train, aka the tractor here at Folly Farm. It was good, that. It was looking quite fresh actually with the barns being painted up. It was indeed. I was very impressed actually with the bits of theming, and it was more than just painting things up. It was like adding signage really and lots really of different nice. parts to them. Um, yeah, I thought that was fantastic, just adding more theming around. That's what we said two years ago. We'd like to see more theming, and they've obviously continued Which with that. Is really good. Yeah, definitely. You know, it just really adds to the overall look and vibe of the place. I tell you what, though, we are absolutely sweating. The humidity this so afternoon. Hot. Oh, it is crazy, but the good thing is Folly Farm has got the huge indoor section with the vintage fun fair and also as well as a big play area inside, so we'll show you that too. In terms of ride tokens, they are 50p each to buy, and most rides are actually only two tokens, which is about a pound. That's but, not too bad. No, you've got to think, you've paid for your admission to come in. I do quite like this, instead of putting the price higher and including all the rides, a lot of people come here and they're not as interested in the no, rides. No, they're not, no. So it's good because it means, you know, you can just pay to do one or two things, or you can, well, do as many rides exactly, you want to. Yeah. See, so yeah, I quite like this. So we'll start off inside and we'll show you the outdoor rides as well. Uh, but most stuff is all indoors just behind us here. Got a bit of Darude Sandstorm playing as we make our way into here. But here we go. Look at this absolutely awesome setup. Got all the games in here as well. And yeah, it's absolutely brilliant inside here. Obviously, Carter's Steam Fair is up for sale. And yeah, they're obviously looking for a, probably an indoor site. So yeah, it may end up looking something like this. We got the Brooklyn Cake Walk just over there to the left. A few of the smaller rides just here as well. You got the Mini Walter just over there. Just over on the right, little carousel attraction. Sizzler over there as well. You got the lovely Gallopers Carousel in the middle there as well. Yeah, I do love it in here. It's not air conditioned, however, obviously, you know, it's not baking hot in here either. Just quite a nice temperature, to be honest. Yeah, I do like all the stalls that they've got in here. Follies Theatre with the Wurlitzer organ up there as well. Obviously very similar to the one that you can see in Blackpool Tower Ballroom. And down here as well, you've got even more rides. Chair of Blaine there in the middle. There's the Dodgems. The Super Swirl just over there, a.k.a. the Skid. One of my favourites. And yeah, just around the corner, they've got a few more rides as well. And yeah, you know, most of these rides, two tokens, so a pound to ride, which is fantastic. The yeah, good thing is with Folly Farm as well, it's designed for the poor weather, you know. So if you do come here and it's throwing it down, it doesn't really matter because all of this is indoors, all weather fun. Muffin the meal just over here. You've also got a lot of nice fairground art on the walls and not just funfair art, stuff like the old OXO signs and that sort of stuff. Ghost train over here as well with a beautifully painted 
facade. Like, look at that. That's the thing, fairground art. I've always found it fascinating. Follies Wonder Railway. Good thing is, it's got a little bit of history about the rides, which is really nice. In English and, of course, in Welsh. Yeah, it got some old pictures, history. I mean, the kids' rides are one token. 50p, really good value. Got the big walls down here. Coronation Speedway, again with some absolutely gorgeous artwork there on the front. The caterpillar just down there, I love the caterpillar, so it spins round and then the roof actually comes over. And the jet's just down there as well, but here we go, we got some tokens here, haven't we? Yeah. Got a nice little bag of tokens. Have a look at one of those, see what the uh, see what they look like. There you go. Fully farm tokens, nice little souvenirs they are. So we've got on some rides, shall we, Charlotte? Yeah. Good thing is we can take you on with the GoPro. So yeah, let's go on some attractions here at Folly Farms, Vintage Fun Fair. Here we go there on the nice caterpillar. Yeah, a lot of the rides in here have had the LED lighting instead of the traditional bulbs. That's completely understandable, especially with the price of electricity. I mean, they've always been LED in here as long as I've been coming. I don't know if they used to run it with the traditional festoons. They're one pound of ride here, Charlotte. Yeah, Woo! Tracy Barber. Yeah. Well, the good thing is on there, so at the moment, we're going to be coming up on the old caterpillar. Yeah, because this whole mechanism moves across. Woo! Speeding up nice now. Hey! But yeah, as much as I love seeing the animals here, for me, I do love the vintage yeah, stuff there. Here we go. Hey! That was a thrilling, exciting ride that was. Did you enjoy that? Brilliant. Oh, I love this setup in here with the music, the lighting. Yeah, really nice atmosphere. We're going on the jets just here now. These go pretty steep. Fantastic attraction. Another one that's got all the history just here as well to see. Yeah, I like how all the rides have got like old photos and information. Love it. Here we go. Got a bit of dancing from Charlotte. She's very hot. But we're still getting a bit of dancing. And also you got a little sticker, I haven't mentioned it yet. There you go, if you go on the land train. It's quite funny because the operator was like, you don't need a sticker, do you? Yeah, yeah, for the big kids over here. How did you find your ride there on the Caterpillar? Yeah, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Very thrilling, especially when the cover comes over as well. Yeah, it's good fun. Hey, and up we go then. Here on the jets, here you just pull the lever back to go off and then of course, Move it forwards if you want to go down. Yeah, they go quite a seat, these two. I can get up. Love the music. But yeah, it's great to see these classic attractions preserved in an indoor setting. It really is. Oh, the Caterpillar is over there, the Royal Coronation Speedway. And yeah, the good thing is, with it all being indoors, it protects the artwork, like all on the front here. So I can see where Carter's is coming from. As much as I think it will lose a little bit of its feel if it's indoors. However, it's protecting that history for the future. Obviously, that's always the most important thing. Uh, Charlotte, look how steep they go. <laughs> Woo! I like the big spaceman in the middle there. Woo! Satisfaction. I can't get no. There she is, really up there again. And I try. <laughs> hey. Nice lighting package. Fantastic. Staff are really good here as well. Yeah, we just know it's like a manager or team leader, like walking around, giving all the staff nice ice cold drinks. Like, that's really good. They need it because, yeah, it's not really cool inside here. Like I said, I don't think it's air conditioned or anything, but obviously it's cooler than being outside. Get on the jet. 
Oh, look at how flat my hair is. I've been wearing a cap all day. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying my ride there on the jet. Oh, I like those. Yeah, you get a nice view looking over the rise down in this section as well. And yeah, up next, we'll get on the speedway that you can see here just behind us. Nice atmosphere in here as well with all the music, friendly staff. Just got a nice family vibe. Really nice. Yeah, I do love it in here. And here we go on the speedway there, Charlotte. On a nice little horse here. We know what's nice about these wooden horses. I look, look all the details on there. Keeping it all indoors, you see, and not travelling around all the time. Just protects everything, doesn't it, which is good. Yeah, it always looks pristine inside here. Keeps these attractions for future generations to enjoy. No type of restraint or seatbelt or anything on this one. Just gotta keep yourself on your horse. <laughs> We're on the speedway. Woo! Wake up, little Susie! <laughs> Woo! Always jump on me, dog. Speedway, and yeah, look at all the artwork there. We've got the ghost train coming up shortly. Amazing, it really is. We are going to take you on the walls the next. I don't think Charlotte's coming on. You've done a couple of spinny rides there, so yeah, I'll uh, go on the walls just over here. The rock and roll walls there. Let's go and give it a ride. Off I go there on the walls there. Yeah, let's see how I get spinning on this. I think I've had some pretty good ones in the past, actually. Woo! Try to tell on one side here just to pull the way over here. Hopefully we might get spinning all right on well, this Elvis Presley theme ball, so there he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Elvis has left the building. Well, in fact, no, he hasn't. He's here. Who have we got on that one? John Travolta, I think. Three. Lots of different stars, pop stars, musical legends. All the road around the side. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, the ghost train just there coming up next as well. Not getting much action here, folks, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Hey. Family friendly. Oh, that's it. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that's more like it. Yeah, that's what we want, viewers. <laughs> we always love it down here at Folly. That we not been for a couple of years as well. Yeah, really nice to get back down here. See that variety of heritage attractions. Woo! Yeah, you got lots of different seating, play areas. Whoa, food options all the way around as well. Which is great. Nice atmosphere. Well, that was a good spin round on there, and actually the longest cycle out of all the rides so far. You right there, mate? How you doing? Would have been scary then if it was a real person, wouldn't it? You used to sell him in Astra Halloween. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. That's where he came from. What? That size? Yeah, we sold him in Astra. You're joking? Oh my God. That's crazy. Here we go. We're going on the ghost train now. Yeah, look at all this amazing artwork just out the front here. But what makes this ghost train is it actually is a train, which I really like. So obviously, they call them ghost trains, but they're never shaped like trains. But yeah, these ones are, which is really cool. Oh! I do love the classic sound of the ghost train clunking round. Thank <laughs> you. 
first try. It's only about a minute, it's a short ride. Oh, there you go, that wasn't too scary for you, was it, Charlotte? No, <laughs> Lovely ride there on the Ghost Train. And yeah, the effects in there obviously have been updated. There's nothing really heritage about them. It's more the ride system itself there. But uh, here we go, we've got on the skid just over here now. Two tokens to ride. We're pointing out the Ghost Train's only one. There's only 50 feet of rides. But yeah, we're going here now. Awesome ride there over on the skid, an absolutely awesome attraction here at Folly Farm. And yeah, we'll head back inside shortly, but we thought we're nice and cool now, so we'll come back outside and do some of the outdoor rides. Then we yeah, when we get a bit hot again, make our way inside. There you go, we've got Bert the seagull. He's got his mouth open again. What is he with all the seagulls in Wales? Got the mouth open. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, there's a classic car show on today. So you got all the cars. All around here, I say classics, that is certainly not an older car, not by the looks of it. I don't really know my cars that much, but I tell you what, it's nice to see. Something else a little bit different here on the grass. You out there, Charlotte? I was taking a photo of Bert the Seagull. Oh, with his mouth wide open. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're heading up this way now. You've got the paratrooper up here, and of course the Ferris wheel as well, that operates Ooh. on the token system. And then just off to the left, you've got go-karts over there as well, so we'll show you those. But yeah, it's absolutely baking hot. Why can't we have it? Just a nice temperature. That's the thing us Brits, we're always moaning about the weather, aren't we? It's always too hot or too cold. Why can't we just have a nice, a nice, a nice temperature? Yeah, we'll take you up on the uh, wheel just over here as our afternoon continues at Folly Farm. Here we go then on the Pembrokeshire wheel. And yeah, we'll get some absolutely fantastic views of Folly Farm and the surrounding area up here as well. And yeah, in terms of how many tokens, just two per person. So it's a pound to ride on the wheel. And here we go. So if you want to be a construction worker, you've got Big Dig just down there as well. With all the diggers that you can operate. Paratrooper just off there as well. And look there at all the barns and indoor area. See obviously all the fun fair is all in them buildings over there. And there's a big play area, but we'll show you that when we head back inside. We thought we're pretty cool now, so we're gonna sit down in there. Let's just come out and do this. Come out again. Yeah, and then we'll go back inside. Yeah, there's a look at some of the accommodation they've got here. And obviously the building more off to the left there. Oh yeah, there we are. But yeah, you've got like all the lodges just there. And plenty of parking here as well. It is free parking at Folly Farm. And there's a look 
uh, where you can bring your caravan, tents, campsite just over there as well, which looks quite nice to be honest. And I think the sea is somewhere over there, there we go, just over in that direction. So yeah, it's probably down towards Tenby over there. Do you like Tenby? Going to be having a look around there of course this evening whilst we're down here in the area because Tenby is a lovely little seaside town to check out here in Wales. Yeah, they've got lots of play equipment here as well, as you can see. So just the play area off to the left, there's a giant ship just over there. And down here you've got the little tractors as well that you can go on, which are good fun. Awesome ride up there on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, it was good fun, got some nice views. Got two laps around on there, so another longest cycle. That's the thing here, most rides don't run on big cycles, but you're not really paying much for the attractions. But yeah, going on the paratrooper just out here now. And again, much like the rides indoors, got a bit of history about this model of attraction as well. And off we go on the paratrooper. And I tell you what, it is the perfect day for this. Because the good thing is, you've got this roof. And yeah, it just protects you from the sun, which is really nice. And then you get the breeze as well. Especially when it's 32 degrees, like it is today. We are not used to all this heat that we're getting at the moment here in the UK. Especially down here in Wales, we're really not used to it. It's nice to be here and it not be raining though. However, I don't know if we're going to be as lucky tomorrow. We're at Coney Beach in Port Call tomorrow, followed by a visit to Barry Island Pleasure Park. And yeah, getting on a huge new ride down there. Stay tuned, we're filming both those vlogs tomorrow and they'll be coming up over the next two days here on Theme Park Worldwide. And of course, only a few weeks to go now until our Florida trip that's going to be coming up that we cannot wait for. I love a good paratrooper. I always remember the first one of these I went on was at Butlins as a kid. And yeah, I loved it. Uh, just great fun ride. You don't see them about that often now, the paratroopers either. Obviously, you've got a few super troopers that travel around the UK, such as the one that's at Alton Towers at the moment, Funk and Fly in Forbidden Valley. But yeah, I do like a good classic paratrooper as well. But yeah, they're the rides they've got outside here, but they've also got a go kart down there, so we'll show you that. We're heading back inside. We're doing a few more of the heritage rides they've got there in the vintage fun fair. Over here now to Follystone Racetrack instead of Silverstone. And here we go. Yeah, these are electric go karts that they've got here now. There you go. Yeah, obviously, I'd imagine a lot of places are going to convert them over to electric. As you can see just here, God, they're silent, aren't they? Like, God, oh, there you go. Talk about updates. Yeah, look at these, there you go. Much more environmentally friendly, of course. It's weird though, seeing these go-karts and not having the noise, but there you go, that's how they're all gonna end up being in the future. Go-karts just here, they don't want to go quite as fast though now as they used to. Oh, silent. Back inside then now, after that ride round over on the paratrooper. There you got another one of my fun fair favorites now, back here inside, it's the cakewalk. Yeah, okay, you got a bit of history. About this fun fair classic just down here. It's only 50p a go, so yeah, let's have a little go on this. Hey, here we go then, on the cake walk. <laughs> Woo! I do like these. Good fun, All right? It's like a drunken night out in Wales. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! I like standing on these bits, get a bit of air time. Hey, well, yeah, you got all the music, lots of different arcade machines in here as well. Really good fun. <laughs> you look hot there, Charlotte. I do love this variety of rides that they've got inside. The good fun these are. But yeah, I do love the cake walk. You don't see loads of these around there, Charlotte. Woo! <laughs> Holding on, but yeah, great. Oh, I just can't get enough what you. Yeah, great rides these are. Great attraction, should I say. Would you class it as a ride? Yeah, I guess it is. I mean, it's, a, it's moving machinery, isn't it? So, yeah, oh, yeah, we'll say, we'll go with ride. There you go, good fun. <laughs> it's not easy when you're holding a camera. There you go. Thank you. And that was the cake walk. Right, up next, we're going back down this way. Have we go on the uh, on the Dodgems now? Hey, <laughs> and here we go then. On the Dodgems, the good one, these. It's only a pound to ride. Nice and fast ones. I like how they've got the little lights in the front as well. Oh, we got a bit of a blockage over there. Yeah, these ones, when you get hit or you hit someone, they go flying. Oh, just like that, skidding along. <laughs> yeah, good out, it's only a pound to ride. Woo. Oh. oh. Give number 10 a little boost there. <laughs> 
We've yeah, still got a couple more rides to go on on this lovely afternoon in Wales. A bit too hot, but it's better than rain. Oh! Woo! Now I'm in a yellow one. Do you like yellow? Oh! <laughs> Out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, what a great atmosphere. It's definitely got a little bit busier now. I think, you know, the outside's really quiet, but everybody wants to be in here in the shade. So that's a good thing with these indoor attractions like this. All weather fun. Woo! Rain or shine, they're always going to be popular indoors. But if it's too hot, people want to be indoors. If it's too cold, people want to be indoors. Woo! Yeah, all the artwork and the lighting in here and the music, yeah, it's really good. It's got a great atmosphere down here at the Vintage Fun Fair. Great ride there on the Dodgems here at Folly Farm. And yeah, you've got the nice cute Austin cars over here as well. Of course, very similar to the ones that Carters have got. I think these are really cute on them, the design of those. Fantastic. You've got Cyclone just over here next. The old Sizzler. We're going to take for a nice ride over on here. Yeah, this is nicely presented. I love all the paintwork around the side. Fairground art is one of my favourite things about fun fairs. And yeah, just seeing all this fairground art, it's beautiful. It's actually got a really nice atmosphere. It's busier now in here. I think it's got so hot outside. Yeah, I was just saying on the Dodgems, you know, obviously a lot of people, if it's too hot, they want to be indoors. And if it's raining, they want to be indoors. So really, it's a good, yeah, it's a good setup in here. Fantastic. We're going to take you on with a nice pub. And here we go then on the twist and I tell you what, the breeze on here already. Oh, lovely, absolutely perfect. Just what you need when it's such a nice hot day. I say nice, a bit too much today. Yeah, I do really love it here at Folly Farm. It's a great attraction and I would definitely recommend a visit. If you haven't been before especially. I've been quite a few times now and I do always really enjoy it here. Great selection of rides. I would love to see them playing something new though. I mean, yes, they've made improvements to theme in and putting some more animals and things, but I'd like to see a new attraction now, especially after doing quite a few visits. As much as it's absolutely lovely here, I really want to see something fresh now. And I think a little coaster would be perfect for them. Nice little themed coaster would be great. I'm not just saying that because I'm a roller coaster enthusiast, by the way, but I do really feel like this part will benefit from something like a Zero Tivoli, maybe something like a Bacoma Family Boomerang if they could stretch to it. Just anything like that. So it's really help enhance the bar that they're offering, and it certainly gets the numbers for it. Yes, it's not as busy today as it normally is, but um, I really do feel like something like that will benefit this part drastically. It'd be fantastic. And also give Oakwood a run for the money then as well, you know. A competition's always a good thing. Oakwood's only 10 minutes drive from here. Woo! There's also an attraction called Heatherton that's nearby. They've not really got any rides there. It's an activity park, but we've heard a lot about that. So I think next year when we come down to this area, we'll definitely do Heatherton and stay at Bluestone. I've been saying for years that I want to stay there. Uh, but next time we'll definitely stay at Bluestone, which is the holiday resort, a bit like a centre parks, but not a centre parks, and that's located right next door to Oakwoods. And a lovely ride there over on the twist, and yeah, we're on the uh, carousel this here yeah. now. A nice classic gallopers here at Folly Farm. What a lovely day though, as always. Lovely. Yeah, it's always great to get back here. It's fantastic. What horse are you on there, Charlotte? Eric. Eric or Erica, one of the two. Er Erica, we think it is. But yeah, putting a bit of footage here from the Gallopers. It's a nice carousel this is, however, I do miss the traditional music. Obviously it has got an organ just over there, but they don't have it on. Quite a few of the rides have got organs, but yeah, they're just playing like the music through a sound system in here. I do miss that, like the classic sounds. However, you've got some pubby tunes. And if you're looking for some nice fudge during your visit, you can get some of that just over here as well. I had some fudge earlier on, it was very nice. Just over there at the candy shop. This is actually only one token to ride, 50p. It's got the chair playing there next, take you on there. And that's all the big rides done. It's only the little kids' rides then that they've got in here. Always like to show you everything that they've got on offer though. 
Over onto the chair of planes then now, the final big ride for us to do here at Folly Farm. But yeah, hopefully we get a nice breeze on here as well. Had a good one on the twist, so yeah, I'm sure you'll enjoy a nice breeze. I need a breeze. Oh no, it's hot. We're struggling today, aren't we? Even though we're indoors a lot of it. It's not that cool in here though, is it? No, no, but it's all right. It's better than having the sun uh, blaring down on us outside. Well, here we got a bit of Cotton Eye Joe playing now. A little bit of Cotton Eye Joe. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't know a long time ago. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Can't I, Joe? I tell you what, that breeze, Charlotte. Oh, it's absolutely lush. Woo, what? You need to watch that dress, yo. Woo. You really feel like you're going to kick people in the face on this. Like, look how close you get. Like, oh. <laughs> you got long legs, be careful. Final big attraction to do here at Folly Farm. Got two tokens left, so I'll probably have a re-ride on the skid or one of the other attractions just to use that token up. Here at Folly. Happy Mary, long time ago. Where did it come from? Where did it go? What an atmosphere, as always. A fantastic visit there to the vintage from fair. Charlotte's loving the classics out here. <laughs> Oh God, I love it. There you go. I absolutely love it in there though. It's fantastic. It really is. You having a good time there, Charlotte? Yeah, she's getting wild. What? She's getting wild. Having a good time at Folly Farm here in Wales. Well, there you go. The absolutely awesome vintage fun fair. Yeah, it's another ride over on the skid there as well. What a classic. You got some right bangers playing in there, aren't they? Yeah. Amazing. But we got one more final visit planned to the goats just round here. The question is, are they wearing coats or dresses today? Dress. All right, okay, yeah. One more visit to the Jolly Barn just over here. See the goats. <laughs> She's running off. Well, I think they've just been fed. All the lovely goats are together down here. They're fighting over the food there. Whoa, calm down, goats. Come on, Charlotte, you need to calm down. Go around, yeah, you're the goat queen, oh. that's it, yeah. <laughs> Make sure the babies get some. Oh, oh. my favorite. Yeah, that, lovely, that one there. Oh. Yeah, it's empty here now in the Jolly Barn. I think it's too hot for everybody today. Whoa, oh, they're getting vicious, these goats. Oh, enough food for everybody, guys. Calm down. The babies aren't bothered. Well, I've had a great time here at Folly Farm, and I thought the last clip before the wrap up should be this lovely horse who's getting very excited at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, God, there you go. He's had a long day. Oh, and he's off. Getting a bit excited there. <laughs> oh, blimey. Oh, what a clip that was. Oh, a very excited donkey just there. Um, but here we go. Here's a look at some of the merchandise they've got down here at Folly Farm. Yeah, you've got the hoodies, T-shirts, and so much more. And, of course, lots of animal plushies and toys over here. You can also adopt the animals here as well if you want to. Have you seen any goat-related merch yet, Charlotte? I'm sure there will be some, some nice uh, postcards. But yeah, back where the day started with the lovely carousel. That just makes it in the middle, in my opinion. Fantastic. We'll be able to head outside and wrap up our day. Back outside then now after an awesome day here at Folly Farm. And yeah, it was lovely this morning having a walk around seeing the animals. A little bit too hot for us. Yeah, I know. Um, but better than absolutely throwing it down, which exactly. is good. Which we might encounter tomorrow, but we'll oh, see no. what happens. Uh, but I do really like it here at Folly Farm. Even though there's not been any major changes since last time we were here, it was nice to see some improvements to the theming in a couple of areas, especially with the land train. I thought that yeah, was good. Yeah, I think they've done a good job with that. Yeah, now the whole park is themed effectively. You know, like there's no buildings that look really out of place uh, everything looks fantastic i still stand by what i've always said since i first came a here coaster. a little coaster would be great i'm not just saying that because i love my coasters a little ride here would be great for them small. yeah a nicely themed coaster experience i think that would attract even more people here to folly farm it's probably been the quietest visit we've seen today <laughs> but i think there's numerous reasons why and probably mostly the weather as well so a lot of people want to go to the beach temp is only 15 20 minutes away people probably have gone to the beach today and that was the same with oakwood as well yesterday with this hot weather 
why it was a bit quieter than usual. Um, yeah, it's been really nice. Of course, the highlight for me is definitely the awesome vintage fun fair, which is brilliant inside there. Atmosphere is good and the rides are good value too. Highlight for me, seeing the small little goat. Oh, the baby goats. So cute. Plenty of goat park worldwide action every time we come here to Folly Farm. And yeah, the animal barn in there is it's fantastic. Lovely, yeah. um, it's perfect how it's all undercover. And like we said, they actually swap the animals out at different parts of the day. So they go outside, come into the shade. Um, it's really nice for them as well. And we've really enjoyed it. It's been a good day. Yeah, really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, fantastic. There's been a nice atmosphere with the vintage fun fair. I was a bit worried earlier that maybe it wasn't going to have the vibe with it being quiet because uh, I don't really like it when things are empty. But then it picked up in the afternoon. It did, yeah, and it's been really nice in there. I've had a great time. And uh, thanks for joining us here Thank on you. Theme Park Worldwide. If you haven't already, check out the vlog from Oakwood that we posted yesterday. We went to their after dark event till 10 o'clock and saw an awesome nighttime spectacular. And tomorrow, where are we going to, Charlotte? We're going to Coney Beach and Barry Island. Yes, yeah, so we're filming both of them tomorrow and them two vlogs will be coming up next here on the Theme Park Worldwide YouTube channel. But from Folly Farm, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you tomorrow.